Uh, this is the uh, video diary for uh, June 12, 2001, and we, are, uh, we have done work today on Space 158 again and on the burial in uh, the white platform uh, uh, 162, feature number. And here in Space 158, we continued removing the uh, floor layers in the central part, and we uh, removed a substantial chunk of it. And we had very, uh, below this, this floor, we had very thick layer of packing. So thicker than usual. And then we arrived on uh, the white floor, which actually was the contemporary, most likely, with the oven, big oven, our feature 646, right here. And so the, the edge, the ending of the floor, of the white floor, we can see here in the beginning, in the base of the oven. Uh, another, this floor then runs all the way to the edge. We are not totally clear yet on how it goes here. It's damaged. We, we expected that because we had a, a screen wall put in later on and really disturbing this whole edge of, uh, of the floor, number of floors in this place. So uh, a feature that was uh, actually discovered yesterday or rather today, on the 12th, is, <laughs> is this little feature that we don't know um, yet very much about, except that it is right next to the oven, big oven, that it is made of a um, thick layer of white plaster that had a very nice polished floor, and that it was uh, put on top of uh, what it seems an entire layer, thick layer of mini clay balls that are lying underneath it and uh, around it. And uh, it's very curious, this feature is very curious, and uh, by the way, the feature number is 758. Um, it's very curious because we, we've never had uh, such amount of mini clay balls in one place. Even though we had instances, several instances of the clay balls of re regular size being um, uh, nearby the ovens in house 2 and in house 16 in the south and other houses. So uh, we'll see what um, this feature looks like when, once we remove the the white plaster on top of the mini balls. And then we have made some progress in the very south of Space 158. And uh, we are still removing those thinner lay floor layers uh, and packings and trying to arrive on the same floor le layer as level as we have in the central part of the space. Uh, and it's a little more difficult to follow these uh, on, the, on the whole surface, these floors and packings, because they're so thin, and because there is a steep slope of the floor, it's very, the floor is very high in the southwest corner, and then it, it goes very steeply down. So we usually cut the floors horizontally, and then we lose the continuity of those. But what is... Um, uh, what's interesting is that in the very feature, in the very corner of, uh, in the very uh, in the southwest corner of the building, uh, we have an earlier feature that was made of uh, uh, of white clay again, of plaster, but was really very neatly truncated later on, and we know why it was truncated because we had on top of it we had a, a nice big oven. And then on top of that oven, uh, later on, was built uh, a niche. We had our niche feature 607 right in that corner and right on top of this truncated feature. Now, the truncated feature is a little unusual. And um, because it is so heavily plastered and because it is so corner, so much tucked in the corner, and, and the filling, the infill of the feature is unusual, so we'll see what it is. And another unusual thing is this round, uh, round little feature that looks like a post hole, but most likely is not, but then it could be. But it's very regular, and it has the same infill as this other corner feature. 
it, it's very, it would be a little unusual for it to be the post hall because it's so far away from either the interior wall or the south wall of the building. And, uh, but it could be also related, as I said, to this corner feature and we'll, we'll work on it. David will work on it. <laughs> yes. And yeah, let's see, uh, we have got, made some progress on 156. We, which we, the pillar which we have been removing and, and as well as cleaning this entire um, stretch of the former screen wall, really removing the, the big bits of plaster, uh, I mean bits of plaster that uh, had been left here uh, last year and before. Now we are cleaning that off and we are still um, having the remains of the screen wall. <coughs> Um, it's not entirely clear yet how they exactly relate to the screen wall, but I am convinced that this is part of it. And then, as I said, the pillar was here. It was set in this roundish, uh, roundish clay feature, and um, it was put on top of this floor. Um, so these are our former floors. These are our floors one to five, and then five to ten. So it was on top of here. And, um, and we can see here how much it was cut. This is not cleaned completely. We have to clean it even more. It was cut into this big white um, platform. And um, there, sorry, there is a possibility. This was John's suggestion yesterday. If you can stop, step on there. There is a possibility that actually this big red brick that runs like that uh, was running all the way to here and that uh, that was incorporated into the pillar. Rather, the pillar was then uh, put on top of that brick. <clears throat> and um, then the rest of the day we spent working on the burial. Uh, Features six three four six four four six four seven, and uh, the burial is uh, finished. The cleaning of the burial is finished on uh, June twelfth, and uh, is going to be the bones are going to be lifted um, the following day. <laughs> do you have? Any, do you want to, to say any details about the bones? Or stuff? You, you should probably Just have a, a complete <laughs> detailed uh, video. Okay. But maybe for this one, you can just briefly, for the diary. Yeah, okay, diary, okay. Um, we ended up uh, finishing up the excavation of the burials um, at this level, so this whole layer is done. In terms of that, okay. we still um, have the uh, two articulated individuals, one of them here, the head here, the back, the spine here, the leg here for one individual as an uh, articulated one. We have another individual whose head was here that we removed last season. And then the vertebral column here. Let's see, the pelvis, the legs, very tightly flexed at the hip, coming up and then the feet down there. Uh, very interestingly, the hands, we have a very clear indication of where the hands were um, underneath the legs and um, how they uh, look like they're coming down and grabbing the elbow on one side. The other bones uh, are these scat some of these um, bones that we're calling um, scattered bones are really the um, bones of what we think is one individual that was disturbed when at least one or both of these were buried. Today, or what we'll do next is we'll finish cleaning it up and then photograph it. That's fine. Good nothing. Do more later. We'll think about what we want to say. Good morning. Anything <laughs> <laughs> else? No, no. This house before, when you came from? Just a very quick one, but I didn't say much. I said I'm not saying much. <laughs> so as you can see, this is a neolithic house. <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to the Byzantine period. However, we did have Byzantine burials and factors. <laughs> and see that our burials were, buried, were cut into the wall in many instances, like this one here. And that square yeah, shape yeah. over there 
in that little wall, and this one here goes up. Oh, actually, not this one here. That one there. That, that was one burial. That was our prize burial. That one did not have any uh, great goods inside. Yeah, and that had a... Yes, it did. That had a, that had a glass bottle. That one? Yeah, I had Which a glass bottle. Right, one right one on the right hand, oh. the one here is gone. That was the highest then. The highest, <laughs> the highest is gone. And then that one, the, the right. cook, shaving then, the one that cut the red wool. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that one could be uh, from the similar time period as yours. But the rest of them I, I think are not. Because they have re had very nice grave woods and they were much deeper and so forth. We, they're all east, they were all east-west, but one of them, which ran like that, not south. Yeah. And that one had terrace gelata. Yeah. That's what I was trying not to do. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, watch, yeah, just to stay from the red is in the bottom collapses. It's the whole thing. Oh, no, no, this is separate discussion. Okay, but we still want this, yeah, we still want this, but now it's just take this one and it's cool. But you know that he impregnated to bits, don't you? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
structures that were not visible. Right, visible isn't it amazing, now. yeah. And yeah. just to look at the depth of that block over there, yes. when I was here three years ago, I was like, hey, yeah, yeah, isn't that funny? That's something real. Oh, it flies when you're having fun. No, no yeah. Yeah. You're very welcome. Yeah. 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 Yes, that's um, right. So I need to come to you. Did she really? Oh, I think I'm from here, um, where she there's, there's some uh, yeah. 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 And she had already been Yeah. And she had been, you know, corresponding with you because Yeah, that's right. I think so we decided we would come on. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, and just, you know, because uh, she dances up there for you guys. Yeah. She don't yeah. notice that she's there. <laughs> oh, remember that. That's, she must be an owl that's flying around. Oh, without a doubt. Yes. If you ever come across any snakes, <laughs> don't kill them. It's her. Okay. <laughs> so she could also be an owl. I'll remember that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have a couple of them there. Mark. I'm feeling she could be whatever she wants. Bye. Where are you from? I'm, well, I didn't know. Um, okay. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I'm very cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice time. Done. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. We can just stick it in the middle. 